Okay, in this video, we're going to see how to find the areas with parametric equations. And we are still talking about the same parametric equations from the previous videos. And this time, we just want to focus on this portion of the curve from t is 1 up to 4. And we want the area of this region. Notice, I have the Cartesian equation down here for us to use as well. And we are going to use that first. Because when we have this, we can totally do this already, right? So here we go. We know that area in this situation, what we can do is we can just draw vertical rectangles like this. And we care about two things. The first thing is notice that this right here is just dx because that's a small change in the x distance. And right here is the vertical distance, which is just y. So you just pretty much do y times dx, and that will give you the area of this green rectangle. And then you are going to add them up from here to here. But you are in the x world. I will put down x1 as the starting x value, and then x2 for the ending x value. You can still put down a and b if you would like. But anyway, this is pretty much it. And then we can set this up totally. We have the integral x1 is right here. That's when t is 1. Plugging 1 into the t equation, you get 1 squared minus 2 times 1, which is negative 1. And then when you plug in 4 into here, you get 16 minus 8, you get 8. So you have negative 1 and 8. And then that's pretty much what we have. And for the y, just enter this. 2 plus square root of x plus 1. And the dx is just dx. And this is your good old integral for the areas. And I would just like to tell you the answer to this is and that's all. Now, suppose we couldn't take the parametric equations and change that to the Cartesian equation form. Well, in that case, we really have to deal with the parametric equation and try to see how to find the area. But the idea is pretty much based on this. And now let me show you. I will still write down the area and it is still going to be the idea y times dx. But this time, y right here, it's a function of t. So I will put down y of t right here. And we are about to enter the t plus 1 for this. Okay. And then the next thing is, what is dx though? Well, if you look back to the x equation, x is a function of t. We can differentiate this with respect to t. And in that case, you can get dx dt. And on the right hand side, you have this expression in terms of t. You just differentiate that the regular way. So you pretty much get x prime of t like that. And this is just the formula pretty much, the differential, right? And I'm going to multiply dt on both sides. In another word, you see dx equals x prime of t dt. And I will just replace the dx with that. And I'll just put this right here. So I put down x prime of t dt. That's pretty much it. In another word, you just put a y right here, and then you differentiate this, and then you put it right here, and then you multiply by dt in the end. And with that said, you are in the t world. So we are going to integrate from t1 to t2. And this right here is the formula to find the area when you have parametric equations. And I would, of course, do this with you guys. This is pretty much the integral. T1 is 1. T2 is the ending t value, which is 4. Y of t is this. You are just going to plug in this right here. So you can just put on t plus 1. And then x prime of t. You look at this expression, and then you just differentiate that the regular way. So you get 2t minus 2. And then in the end, you have the dt. And that's all and work this out on your calculator or do it by hand or whatsoever, you end up with <laughs> So that's pretty much it. And let me know if you guys have any questions.